しまーす。さよなら、連中を流してまいりまーす。I just picked up another one of my favorites. Should be the medium fatty tuna. That is just beautiful. Like some of the best quality conveyor belt sushi possible. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Kagoshima, which is on the island of Kyushu in Japan. And we're taking a kind of an easy day today. And we thought we'd walk over to a place that looks like they have one of the best conveyor belt sushis that I've ever seen. It's a very popular local place. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna walk over there and we're gonna eat some delicious conveyor belt Japanese sushi. I'm very excited. I love sushi. I love conveyor belt sushi. Let's go. It should be about a 10 minute walk from where we are, right in the center of Kagoshima. And the sushi restaurant, the conveyor belt sushi, is right along the port. Should be pretty much along the, like at the fishing port at the water's edge. Maybe we'll have a good view of the volcano from there. Okay, here we are, we made it, and we have an amazing view of the volcano from here. The water port, I think, is right across the street, and this is the conveyor belt sushi restaurant that we came to. It's a very popular place locally. It's called Mawaru Sushi Mekomen at Dolphin Port. We are inside, we got a queue number. They have both the bar counter seating where the conveyor belt comes and also tables, so we're gonna wait for a table since we're three. But it looks such a great atmosphere. It looks, the conveyor belt is huge. We finally got a table that took an hour. We waited in line for an hour, but we made it. So they have about 10 sushi ninjas in the center, just like flying on the sushi, just making sushi nonstop, putting them on the conveyor belt, but then they have a full menu that you can order from as well. So we'll do a combination of both, but man, it really does look extremely good quality. I guess that's why it's so popular, why there's such a long line here. And then they have a couple, I mean, along with all the sushi and the different dishes, they have a couple super premium ones. We've got to try one of those. Yeah, veggie one, sure. Ooh, what's that, Daddy? Let's grab the nearest one, but this really does look incredible. This one is a mix of tunas, I believe, all three uh, from the akami, the red meat, to the fattier tuna, to the the very fatty tuna. This really does look premium. Okay, I'll start with this one. First bite, long awaited. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. So sweet, so good. Oh, and then some nice wasabi underneath it as well, on the bottom of the rice. Mm. Mm. That melts on your tongue. Oh, that tuna belly. Mm. Excellent quality. Fresh. Not sure what type of fish this is, uh, but lightly seared and then with some, I think with leek on the on the top there. Mm. Oh, that one is really good. With the crunch of those leeks, very finely shaved, very neutral tasting. Just that crisp juiciness. That's what makes it good. Oh, the premium one has come. This is that one, that premium one. Yes, it is. This is like one of the one of the specials. Really nice with a shrimp, with uni and salmon roe, and with a piece of tuna. That shrimp is beautiful. Really, really good quality. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is so sweet. 
candy shrimp melts in your mouth. Oh. And then you can suck that, that head. They give you the head to suck out all that butter juices. Delicious. Next bite for uni and salmon roe. Oh, I love the shiso leaf in there, giving it that, that herbal touch. Mm. That's so silky smooth, so clean. So, just a buttery texture. And then I also ordered a vegetable miso soup. I love miso soup. Nice. Oh, it's really good. I love miso soup. Vegetables in there, there's cabbage and carrots and green onions. Here we go, I think this is my first time. I saw the eggplant have to go eggplant sushi. I think it was my first time to have eggplant sushi. Mm. Oh, it's so buttery and so juicy. With a little bit, maybe a miso in there to give it some salty flavor. That works really well, I love it. Take a break with some ginger, some pickled ginger. I love the ginger. And then I just picked up another one of my favorites, diced little pieces of tuna, I believe. A mix, maybe the medium fatty tuna. That is just beautiful. Oh, a little mountain of tuna. And you can see how the color, the quality, the freshness. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That might be the best one yet. So tender and oily. I love the shiso leaves. Plus the flavor of the wasabi and the, the chewy. Top quality, like some of the best quality conveyor belt sushi possible. This is more of a white meat fish mixed with, let's try it. Mm. Oh, sesame seeds and maybe sesame oil. That fish is marinated in sesame oil. Mm. Gives it a really nice fragrance. Mm. Okay. I gotta be honest and say I'm getting a little full. I mean, we've been doing a lot of eating on this Japan trip. And yeah, we've been eating a lot, so I don't want to overdo it, but I'll have one last plate. I saw the shrimp piled with a, it's like a, an entire salad of finely shredded onions, I believe. Mayonnaise on top, green onions. It's just a small mountain with shrimp on the bottom. This will be my final plate. But I think we've done, we've done pretty, pretty well, pretty well. Not even totally sure how you can get that whole blob in one, one bite, or maybe you need it all in one bite. How you can split it up between the two. My God, what's the best strategy here? All in one bite, there's a, sh there's a shrimp hiding below there. Oh, that's a lot of juicy onions and mayonnaise all in one bite. Mm. 
Oh man, those onions are leeks. I think they're leeks actually. So light and fluffy and almost flavorless just for that crunch. And onions too, and then you've got that kind of sweet Japanese ma must, uh, mayonnaise. Okay, this will be my final piece. Mm. Okay. I think that's mission completed. That was delicious. Okay. Okay. You think by plate, everything has a plate to it, and then everything is colored, so every plate color is a different price. They give you some pretty cool toothpicks with their flag on it, and then also they give you this, like, kind of digital receipt which you go up front to pay so we will see how much how much our bill is that was delicious and our total bill came to 7183 yen i just did the conversion at this exact time that's 54 dollars and 10 cents actually that is not bad i mean these type of conveyor belt restaurants they're not always that cheap because they keep adding up and some of the premium plates cost quite a lot uh but I think that's an amazing value. I mean, we were two adults, one child. You saw the stack of plates that we ate. I'm, I'm at a good full level. I'm not stuffed, I'm just perfect. Uh, but 54 bucks for that quality. And really, I mean, I love conveyor belt sushi. I think it's just such a fun concept. It's like a, it's such a happy place. It's just positivity. Conveyor belt sushi also reminds me of my childhood. I used to just love going to conveyor belt sushi. There's somebody, there's something for everyone. You know, if you just want the cucumber roll, if you want just rice, I mean, or if you want good sushi, good fish, or if you want squid, whatever you want, it's all available. And I think that's part of the reason why it's so popular and it's just fun. So that's gonna be it for this Kagoshima conveyor belt sushi restaurant. I'll have the link for them in the description box below, but highly recommend it if you're in Kagoshima. And look at that view of the mountain, of the volcano in front of us. Thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe to Mark Abroad for more food vlogs, travel guides and tips, and Goodbye from Kagoshima. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.